ready to do our Leo July the 16th through the 31st. See what's crackalacking, baby. Let's see what's crackalacking with our Leo July 16th through 31st for your rising sun, moon, Venus, Cuspers, Cross Watchers. It's timeless, of course, because energy is fluid. Okay. It is out the little ash done dropped on hand. If it do not resonate, leave it on the eye of raw. Okay. Hold on, let me get my cards in the upright position first before they start flying all upside down. This is for you Leos. This is for the Leo in you. Yes. Leo, the sun coming up in here on the Leo season. Leaving out of cancer season. Cuspers, I owe you one. You know I owe you one. Because I'm a cusper. I will not leave out my cuspers. Will not. Damn it, I will not. So you got a Cancer Leo cusp reading coming. I better do that before I forget. <laughs> but y'all are cuspers. I appreciate you because you know what? We hold the world together. We like this. So the world wouldn't be the world if it wasn't for the cusper. So appreciate the cusper in yourself, baby. Appreciate that cusper. This is for you, Leos. Let's see what energy source have for y'all, what energy want to tell y'all, what y'all need to know going forward into Leo season. This is the law of attraction. The summer, baby. The summer. Woo, where the flowers bloom and the roses are red and the violets are blue, I think. Ah. <laughs> Let's see what spirit source energy have for us Leos out there. Let me... Oh, I'm going to have to let that go down, that timer, and reset it. All right, Leo, Spirit Source Energy, thank you for your guidance and light, truth and wisdom. What message do you have for our Leos out there? Spirit, Spirit Source Energy. All righty. All right, Leos. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Full moon in Pisces. All right. Step out of your comfort zone. North node. Step out of your comfort zone. Ooh, Leo. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Full moon in Gemini. The answers that you need are coming, Leo. They are coming. Woo, love it. Love it. Love it. Let's get you an animal totem. I'm feeling good about this, Leo. Law of attraction. You rule the law of attraction. Expression. Hobbies. The house of hobbies. Like motivational speaking. Y'all are like, you know, y'all like the sun card. The most powerful card in the tarot deck is the sun card. Can't nobody beat the goddamn sun. Can't nobody even get up there. Shit. Okay, this is about expressing yourself, coming out and expressing yourself. This Leo summer is about romance. It's about love. It's like I said, it's about the roses. Okay, the roses are red and the violets are blue. It's about stopping and smelling the roses, Leo. Spirit source energy, what do you have for Leo July the 16th through the 30th? What would you like for Leo to know? We're coming in on Leo season. Look at y'all coming in here like a damn eagle. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Create your vision. If that's not a fucking law of attraction card right there, did I not say that, Leo? Did I not? Create your vision. Leo is the law of attraction, law of energy, law of vibration. It's manifesting time. It's going to be summer, goddammit. It's going to be summer. You better spread your damn wings, baby. You better spread that flap and, and extend that wingspan, baby, and branch out. And if that does not say step out of your damn comfort zone, I don't know what the hell do. Because that clearly says expand, right? Expand those wings, baby. Expand that reach. I'm just saying, that's what the cards say, y'all. That's what the cards say. I'm just saying. That's what I got from it. Mm -hmm. It's time for y'all to branch out, baby. 
it's time for y'all to leave y'all comfort zone, Leo. Y'all done got too damn comfortable. Time for y'all to leave it. I'm just trying to tell you. Take what resonates. Well, don't leave it on the IRA. It's okay. It ain't personal. It ain't personal. It's a reading, but it ain't personal. It's just spiritual guidance, okay, for those that need it. Strength. Look at you showing up for your own damn read. I'm so done. I'm so motherfucking done, God damn it. And justice. And you about to get the motherfucking justice. Oh, yeah. You about to get the shit. You about to get it. You about to fucking get it. I know you own something good. I can feel it already in this reading before with them them three cards. Was it four or three? With them, oh, four. With them four cards right there, I could feel something because that animal totem card was calling me. I wasn't even going to do an animal totem. And it was like animal totem. I was like, huh? And look at y'all showing up for your own reading, having that strength and that courage, maintaining the balance, able to overcome challenges, baby, courage and bravery. Y'all remember on the Wizard of All, they were like going to see the, uh, the, the lion, what was it? The lion to going to see the wizard, you know, to have courage in the heart. That's what this, that's what this reminds me of courage in, in, in your heart chakra to, to fight for what you want to expand beyond your comfort zone and, 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 and getting the justice that you deserve in life to do justice, the reciprocity. Some of you guys might be dealing with court cases that involve justice system. You know, things are going to weigh out for you. Speak your truth, stand your ground and know that the higher, the higher sources are involved in here. The higher sources are involved. Matter of fact, Go burn your ass a blue candle. Burn your ass a blue candle. Put your intentions in it. Get some parchment paper. Write what you want to happen under it. And then you can burn that shit later and pat it in the ground somewhere. Or you can just uh, uh, burn it and, 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 you know, discard the ashes or whatever. Write, write your intentions. If you got a court case, a settlement, a child support, get your ass a blue candle. Can blue is always for law. And then when you go to court, wear some goddamn blue shit <laughs> i'm trying to help y'all help you that's all i'm just trying to help you out wear some damn blue that's about getting justice letting the universe handle it it's something about that goddamn blue i love me some blue y'all see that Woo! i love me some goddamn blue because you can't baby can't nobody fuck with the blue can't nobody fuck with the blue black god damn it when you call up on the blue black baby can't nobody mess with it i'm, I'm trying to tell y'all keep playing keep fucking playing you're gonna learn the goddamn day you're going to learn. You're going to damn learn. Can't nobody beat that goddamn blue black, baby. Mm -mm. That motherfucker is a beast. Shit. And I say that with the utmost respect. <laughs> Shit. You cannot fucks with the blue black. Not. Let me remind you. That shit right there. Shit. Got everybody fucking trumped. <laughs> Pulling everybody fucking card and choke chain all the goddamn time. Justice going to be fucking served for any injustice done to you, Leo. Trust that. Trust that. Trust that. Blue, black, baby. The blue right there. Tried and motherfucking true, goddammit. Try it. You'll see. Look at there. Ooh, baby. Two of wands. Having a decision, baby. Ooh, you. Oh, Lord. Y'all messing with a Leo? Aries, Sagittarius? Libra energy here. Okay. I see y'all. I see you. See you wouldn't want to be you, but I see you. <laughs> Spirit source energy. What? Look at y'all. Baby, y'all fence to do some work. Y'all fence to go. We y'all fence to build. Y'all about to go back to school. You probably already done registered a lot of online shit popping right now. Y'all are perfecting your craft. Going back to school, some of y'all might be mentoring. Like I said, y'all are about the law of attraction and motivational speaking. So some of y'all, Leos, might be getting into speaking, getting into collaborating uh, with someone, um, with some students, having a class, having a uh, uh, putting together an online course or something, uh, working together with people, uh, building a, a foundation, doing a lot of... Uh, this is your Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. What else Spirit Source Energy does Leo need to know? Spirit Source Energy for July the 16th through the 31st. What else does Leo need to know? 
Three of Wands, waiting patiently. Y'all have been waiting patiently, waiting so fucking patiently for your ships to come in. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Y'all got a lot of Sagittarius in y'all chart. Some are, somebody dealing with a Sagittarius, King of Wands, and you have a you have a decision to make. You know, King of Wands, very passionate, able to overcome any type of obstacle, very passionate. Uh, you know, can be flirtatious sometimes. Uh, you got a King of Wands after you. You got somebody very passionate after you, okay? You're waiting for your ships to come in, but you're not you're not really worried and focused on that. You work you're you're worried about balancing things out financially for yourself. Hmm. Spirit source energy justice card. Clarify justice. Spirit source energy. Clarify justice. Give us more on justice. Spirit source energy. Give us more on justice. Give us more on justice. Tell us more. Tell us more on justice. Spirit source energy. More on justice. Knight of Wands. Ooh, baby. Passionate. Lover boy. Flirtatious again. Playboy energy. Attachment. Somebody toxic. This king of wands that's after you is very toxic. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, y'all are tied together. Got some energy. Got some uh, type of energy. Um, karma could be a lesson. Uh, and you got to make a decision. You gotta make a you gotta you gotta make a decision here. Who this King of Wands is to you and what lesson? It's a karmic lesson, is what I'm picking up so far. Um, why is the Devil card here? Spirit Source Energy. Why is the devil card here? That's too many. Spirit source energy, one card. Why is the devil card here? Oh, these cards are so big. I love them, but this deck is big. This deck is huge to my hands. It's like a lot of cards. I don't have big hands. Clarify the devil card, spirit. Energy, one card. Clarify the devil card. Well, I guess you want to give me more than one. Right. Uh, okay, tower moment. Devil card coming down with the tower moment. Somebody definitely has been juggling you, juggling their finances. Uh, they see you as a wish fulfillment, a dream come true uh, for them. And they're juggling their finances. This king of wand energy uh, has been balancing you. Okay, holding things together, you know, and this tower moment is coming where you're going to see the light. You're going to see the truth for what it is. Okay, with this king of wand energy, you may have already been shown. Your ancestors probably have guided you and shown you and revealed some type of uh, something about uh, this king of wands energy and this attachment. You know, this devil energy here. Something's going to have to end. Spirit source energy. Something's definitely going to have to end. Clarify three of pentacles. Spirit source. They gone. Yeah, broken heart. Broken heart and reciprocity. So this person knows they've disappointed you. They've known uh, they've had a tower moment and they know they've been unfair and things haven't been fair. And that's why the justice card came out second to the strength card, because they know they haven't been fair. They know that, you know, what they did, the disappointment, the fear of rejection. Okay. 
and, and, and weighing things out. They see you as a balanced person, though. They see that things can be balanced uh, with you. Again, your pinnacles, focusing on your money. Not really on the love, but on your money, you know. Spirit, source, energy, clarify three of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's being tricky and deceitful in communication, not telling you the whole truth. Uh, got kind of like Sagittarius, got one foot in the door, one foot out, Leo. Uh, that's your Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, tricky, slick, slickery energy. People not being uh, honest in what they want. They're, they're sneaking around. There's no communication coming in. Uh, not really discussing anything with your person if there's a person involved here. Clarify Three of Pentacles. That card was jumping. Yeah, celebration, third party. Someone's being someone's being deceitful about a third party. Could be a distance, could be they're not letting you know what they're working on, but they're waiting for their ships to come in. And that's what's creating the the communication blockage around the deception is you're not being told what's going on. But this person really wants to celebrate with you, wants to work with you, wants to put an end to this third party situation here. Okay. They want a celebration with you, but they're not telling you they're, they're too busy watching, waiting for their ships to come in, waiting to, you know, for the, the, the right time. Okay. Is what I'm hearing. Waiting for the right time, waiting for the right time. Definitely waiting for the right Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, waiting for the right time. And it's coming, you're getting communication. So communication is picking up, okay, from the King of Wands. You should, you you know, a little bit more communication, but still not really giving you anything, okay? Really not, still, something still is unclear, okay? Creating Nine of Swords energy, worry, being up at night, okay? Mm-hmm. Spirit source energy. Tell us more for Leo. Spirit source energy, July the 16th through the 31st. Tell us more, spirit source energy. More about the devil energy, the devil card. That's about, you know, fear, living in fear and anxiety of, of what's going to happen, you know, with the devil energy. Spirit source energy, clarify the devil card. Why is the devil card here? Spirit source energy, clarify the devil. High priest is in reverse. Somebody's keeping secrets. Yeah, somebody got options. They know you got options. <laughs> they know you got options. Somebody's hiding something, hiding their feelings for you. Leo, somebody's hiding their feelings for you. They know you got options. Look at there. Bam. Hierophant. Marriage. They see you as a strong a stable person, grounded. Mm -mm -mm. Spirit source energy. Woo wee. Woo. Somebody want to marry y'all. Somebody want to give y'all some type of offering commitment. But they're hiding. They're hiding. They know. They know they got options, and they know you got options. But they're hiding it. They're not telling you. Mm -mm -mm. I'll be John Brown. Cheese and grits, baby. Cheese and grits. Why is the Knight of, Knight of Wands here? That's your playboy energy. That's getting justice. Someone wants to, you know, this under the justice card, is this person trying to bring balance to the situation here for leaving fast? For leaving out so fast, causing, you know, disappointment possibly to you, feeling things unfair, things are unbalanced. Why can't, you know, you have a balanced love life where love life where reciprocity is given, where there's an equal give and exchange. Somebody might might have left and didn't say anything and just ghost you and left you in the dark and left you confused here. Cause it's right above 
even the uh, Seven of Cups, which is about illusions and confusion, but also about options, okay? Because they were hiding a secret, possibly that they were already married, who knows, or that they wanted to marry somebody else because the hair fence is up under the bottom, okay? What is the challenge, Spirit Source Energy? What is the challenge here? Page of Wands coming in. I mean, communication is slowing down. It's not really fast. It's coming. But the Page of Wands is this person is taking a damn sweet time with this pinnacle. The Knight of Pinnacle offer, a marriage offer that's stable, that's true, that's truthful, is very slow. This is the slowest night in the whole fucking deck. This mother takes their fucking time, okay, to get there, okay? They got to make sure, you know, without a doubt. They're, they're saving money. They're dealing, you know, building their finance to give you this pinnacle, probably stability. Whatever they're trying to offer, commitment-wise, proposal-wise, it's going to be tangible. It's going to be evident or truth or evidence, right, or fact. It, you're not going to be fucking guessing, not with the Knight of Pinnacle here. This is going to be a legit offer, okay, of a proposal, a marriage, or some type of commitment. And it took a long time to get there. The person's been hiding the fact that they have these feelings for you and they feel attached to you. They feel that your lover is Gemini energy. No, that's, that's Capricorn energy. Devil is Capricorn energy, Earth energy. But this is living in fear and temptation. This person probably had some toxic issues or heartbreak that they had to cover from. And that's what's taking this, this offer a while to get there to you. Because the page is in reverse. Which meaning they're not coming in fast. They're not uh, in a hurry. Okay. Taking their sweet ass time. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Spirit source energy. What is the outcome here? Spirit source energy. What is the outcome for Leo? What is the outcome for Leo? And that might be you, Leo, taking your time and not wanting to rush into anything, any type of commitments or anything because of the heartbreak. Look at the world card. Woo. Outcome. Bang. For Leo, spirit source energy flying out the gate. Look at there, magician, manifesting. You're manifesting your uh, ten of pentacles. Look at there, the empress in the fucking building, baby. The empress in the damn building. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on, y'all. I got to light my tea light here. All right. Okay. All right, y'all are in manifestation. You have what you need to. I told y'all the law of attraction. This is like the law of attraction right here. You are the fucking magician. You better fucking create because you are in goddamn creation mode right here. Create your vision. Visualize mantras, I am's, whatever you got to do to create. That's the energy now that is around you, Leo. You came out in your own reading first as a strength card, which that's your card. This is proof that where you're coming into is being able to manifest your ten of pentacles, your financial stability and freedom and liberation right here, leaving a legacy, right? Building something stable, building something uh, long-term, investing material assets, right? Buying land. So you're building a structure. You're building a foundation, something firm and something steady. And that's what's taking that. You could be taking your time, toward getting into any relationship for as that matter or your person could be trying to manifest this ten of this ten of pentacles with you as well okay and also seeing you as the empress abundant fruitful uh uh single motherhood mother earth right venus loving so you know sexual energy divine feminine energy the queen of all queens in the empress right uh Fertility for some of you guys could be uh, y'all are trying to manifest uh, pregnancy, manifest a baby, manifest a new business idea, manifesting financial independence. OK, and look, collaboration again, three of Pentacles, working with someone, collaborating with someone, you know, 
that's another it's symbolism sort of like a third party as well on business so if you're into business this is you working you know collaborating with somebody in business affairs to build this uh ten of pentacles up you're manifesting that okay so you got love and relationship here money and relationship in here leo mm. what is the uh advice spirit source energy knight of cups message you know um slowing down no communication knight of cups is about someone bringing in financial i mean emotional stability and offer so you're turning down offers <laughs> you're turning down offers you're not interested <laughs> I'm not really interested right now because you're focused on your ten of pentacles you're focused on collaborating financially but setting yourself up you know for uh, long term for financial stability and independence the Empress is about new ideas success and opportunities mm-hmm mm-hmm Spirit source energy. What other messages do you have for Leos? What should Leo know? Spirit source energy. July the 16th through the 31st. What should Leos know? Spirit source energy. What do Leo need to know? Spirit source energy. What do Leo need to know? Oh, dang. That's too many. My cards are not even upside down. My cards. Hold on. Let me fix my cards right quick. Let me fix my cards because I don't want these things flopping upside down. I don't do these in upside down. Somehow I must have put them in there upside down though. All right. Let's see. Spirit source again. Oh, there's one, two more. All right. Let me do this again, y'all. Sorry about that. All right. Spirit source energy. What do you have for Leo? What do Leo need to know? Spirit source energy. What message do you have for Leo? July 16th through the 31st. What message do you have for Leo in this reading? Do they need to know? Spirit source energy. What do Leo need to know? Spirit source energy. What do Leos need to know? Spirit source energy. July the 16th. Whoop. Dang. Y'all, they, they got a lot to say to y'all, but we ain't doing all that. We ain't having all that. But you do got very soon came out first. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Did I not tell you? You are the law of fucking attraction, Leo. Did I fucking not say? You better get ready to fucking create and focus on what you're creating and state it very fucking clear because the universe is listening. Step out of your comfort zone and eagle, create your vision. If it got to sound so fucking scary, let it sound scary. That means you're on the right fucking path. You should not be in your comfort zone. You, it should, the numbers, the figures should be so fucking scary to your ass when you're creating right now, that you just trembling, that you like literally fucking scared, like, like the devil energy, you know, you like in, in fear because it's that fucking good. Not that it's bad, but that what you're creating is good. You're stepping outside those boundaries. So they saying, be very clear because very soon it's about to happen. So tell the universe specifically what you want to create what you're building, what you're trying to manifest. If it's financial independence and stability, then fucking say it. I want my fucking financial instability. It, you know, I mean, stability. If it's love and finances, say it. Say it because you are the law of attraction and we're coming into Leo energy, which is the sun. And that's another sun card. And it just told you the answer 
you need are coming. These came out first. So it's telling you what's about to happen. Balance spirituality and practicality. Be practical, but shoot for the fucking stars. Shoot for the fucking stars. If it's scary, shoot for it. If it seems like, you know, God, that's extreme, shoot for it. Get out of the damn comfort zone. Step out of your comfort zone. North node. Step out of your comfort zone. Because very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You are the magician. That's your energy, Leo. That's your energy, Empress. What else, Spirit Source, do you have for our Leos? This is serious. Y'all are like the law of attraction. Y'all are in that, uh, that attraction uh, energy right now. Wait, wait, look at there. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So if some of you Leos are waiting to manifest your spiritual, your soulmate or your counter, your twin flame, divine flame, whatever, divine reflection, whatever you want to call it, husband, spouse, significant other is coming. Heart to heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Be open and honest. Discuss your feelings with each other. Look at this. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Oh uh, yeah, like this. Like like the empress that you are, right? Everybody wants the empress. You know, everybody sees the empress as abundance. She is the queen of all queens, the queen bee. She is all four queens into one baby dolls, okay? And you too, uh, handsome guys, you can be a Leo and still work in that feminine energy of the empress, okay? And knowing that you're handsome, you're attractive, you're abundant, you're successful. You know, you got all the opportunities available to you, new beginnings, creating life, creating resources, like stability this this says for, like i don't need a motherfucking thing that's what this car fucking say i love my fucking self because i made sure i don't need another motherfucking thing because i love my goddamn self that's what the fuck that say if y'all want to know in layman's term <laughs> that's what that damn card saying shit i don't need not nobody that's what the damn card saying what the fuck? Who the fuck do I need? I don't need shit right now because I got everything that I damn want by my goddamn self. I may need, I may want you. But this card say I don't fucking need you. But I may want you to be a part of my life, right? But I don't fucking need your ass. That's what the shit say right there. If y'all didn't know, now the fuck you goddamn know. When you see the fucking empress and the emperor, it's about independence, baby. Garen motherfucking teed independence. All across the fucking board, baby. The chess board. Not no fucking checkers. We don't do fucking checkers over in this motherfucker. We do straight chess, goddammit. We play chess, not checkers, okay? This is strategy. To become this is a fucking strategy. Ain't no fucking Chinese checkers. Ain't no goddamn red and black checkers. God damn it. This is goddamn chess. Y'all better get it straight. Right? And manifest. That's beautiful, Leo. <laughs> now that I did all that <laughs> to say it's beautiful, it's beautiful because it is. So y'all are in this manifestation, okay? And some of y'all are going to be motivational speakers even you're going to be you know getting the romance of your dreams the love of your life okay you're all about that self-expression you're the strength card in the tarot deck you're about that courage and leadership you're the sun card right you are the sun card you're motivators your inspir your inspiration to people because you guide people you know got that abundance oh look at y'all so if y'all want marriage and money and whatever else y'all wanting y'all are in y'all are about to be in season y'all are about to be in season for it baby for whatever you want to manifest look at there that's your wish fulfillment card right there that's saying the universe is listening 
the universe is listening actively listening okay it ain't a trick it's not a trick it's not a trick and for those that have a person uh the communication of uh, be slow you know for leo um but still go on with your manifestation you got to bring that in by being happy with yourself if you're trying to manifest a love life you got to be happy with yourself first is what the cards were saying show yourself the self-respect be about your business like the empress right be about your where is it at where is it at i did something with it maybe i put it up i don't know what i did with it what did i do with it i don't even know what i did with the uh the empress card be about your your uh oh there it is be about yourself that's how you attract that love that law of attraction if you're wanting love and ro uh, romance and money then you got to visualize it you got to feel it you got to see it you got to touch it you got to taste it you got to sense it okay this is law of attraction law of energy this is law of vibration right so you got to tune into that which you want to get that wish fulfillment to come it's not going to just be like wake up one day and sitting in your lap you know you're gonna have to put in the work and now is your harvest it's your harvest time if you didn't know now you know now you know so it depends on you getting an alignment to bring that in to you to attract that to you it depends on your alignment if you let this season pass and you don't get it well something was not aligned with you okay for you to bring it in or it's not your season but it still doesn't mean you give up on it you just may need to do a little bit more work there was a devil energy there was toxic energy around karmic cycle stuff that has been brought to light that you have to work on that was probably caused by heartache and disappointment and so you're healing so even if it's not your your time to manifest you still have been made known issues you need to work on okay the light has been revealed the darkness has revealed that which is in the uh the heart okay which is causing the pain which is causing the confusion which is causing in the suffering or the struggle with things is an attachment is a something that you need to break an attachment to some type of behavior you know something that's toxic something that's unhealthy it could be an addiction of any sort it, it could be something that you overdo uh too much of that lowers your vibration okay drinking smoking it could be uh drugs it could be uh doing too much of watching tv you know too much partying uh leos it could be too much you know going out clubbing whatever whatever you're not doing in moderation is an imbalance y'all pretty much is what it's saying if you're not balanced on both negative and positive it's an imbalance right so that's what is that's what it's pretty much talking about things balance out people running in and out causing a disappointment the the fear of rejection because people are in and out of your life, possibly. They're not staying. These are those playboys and playgirls, right? They're only in there for one thing and one thing only, sex, right? So you got toxic behavior you have to heal from then if that's the case, okay? If that's the case, then there's some toxicity there so underneath that has to be dealt with, okay? Because it'll be hard for you to move forward and and get this ace of pinnacle i mean this knight of pinnacle and be able to maintain it and keep it this ten of this ten of pinnacles because being wounded you would just you would abuse it you would abuse it you wouldn't even appreciate it you wouldn't even appreciate the hard work it took for you to get it and it would just be sucked right out of you. You know, all those people, they win the lottery and next thing you know, they fucking broke. Because they ain't got no fuck, they ain't got no healing done to this right here. Childhood, mental health, psychological abuse or whatever the case may be. 
of their disappointments, their fear of rejection, or their toxic behavior because there was no healing. They end up getting some kind type of legacy all to lose it again because they've not dealt with the underlying issue here, what's in the heart, what needs to be healed in from a heart level, from a soul level. Okay, what toxic behavior do they have that will mess the Ten of Pentacles up? All right, that's it, Leo. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell button, the notifications, so you don't miss no reading on your rising sun, moon, Venus. Go to astrocafe.com if y'all don't know what y'all natal charts say. Go there and find out what your rising, your moon, your sun, and your Venus is at. Okay? So that you can follow at least those three or four uh, to piece together what's going on. Because sometimes it'll be in the sun. A uh, little bit of your narrative will be in the sun of your sign. But sometimes it'll be over in the moon and over in the rising as well. So you need to look at those three to see and piece together sometimes what's going on with the with the rising and the moon and the sun and put it together so you can get a better uh uh guidance you know and answers to solutions to whatever you're you're seeking and looking for sometimes it's not always in the sun you know in the sun sign itself sometimes it's in your your moon or your rising that you will get some answers uh also and some guidance further guidance okay so it's kind of broken up. Okay. So y'all know what to do. Peace, love, and harmony. Because if you got peace, love, and harmony in yourself, you'll have peace, love, and harmony in the world. So peace, love, and harmony. Leo season. We almost in there. Even though I ain't a Leo. But I understand. I get it. I'm all of them. So we is almost in there, Leo. Just a couple more days. A couple more days. A couple more days. And the sun is about to motherfucking shine.